hey guys welcome back to my channel i am going to be showing y'all exactly what i do um when before i do my nails because i do my nails so much and pop them just right off this is what i use i use a cuticle oil it could be any cuticle oil and a gel top coat um i do brush on the cuticle oil all over my nail and then i go ahead and rub it a little bit just so it doesn't seems so oily but there's enough that way once you apply your top coat um you just cure it and it doesn't burn you okay so that is why i apply the cuticle oil because it doesn't burn when i do a whole go ahead and apply the top coat and cure it um this is what my nails look like right after i didn't show you exactly what i did but i just go ahead and just put that cuticle oil all over the nails cover it up really good and as you can see there's some spots that just it did not cure right and that is maybe because i put too much cuticle oil on them and that's why i do try to rub them in i try to rub the cuticle oil all over um, and kind of just take some of that off because i don't want it to be too oily where the top coat just doesn't stay because there's times where it starts to move around you know um so that is what i put and after I do this set, I will be showing you exactly how I just pop them right off. So stay tuned for that. And then I go ahead and apply my tips. It is kind of hard to keep them on, to be honest. That is why before I start my set, I go ahead with my clear and I just start um, putting that on, the, um, on my nail bed. And then I go ahead and start just cutting and shaping or whatever else I want to do just so they don't pop off as easily because mine tend to pop off I don't know about other people but that's how I am mine do tend to pop off sometimes and peel off a little bit uh, because I'm just doing too much with it but whenever I do go to filing and I have all that acrylic laid it doesn't come off at all so that is actually the pretty cool thing about it um, but yeah I'll show you at the end how I just pop them right off so right here i'm going to get started with my nail design before i show you how i pop my nails off and i'm going to be doing a valentine's day um nail set right here i'm going in with on the rocks it is a glitter acrylic from royalty nail supplies and it is such a pretty glitter acrylic um i do recommend her glitter acrylics they do have a really pretty shine to them after you file buff and everything you just put that top coat the way it shines is just so pretty um so i am going to be doing this one on my pinky finger and it's going to be a full covered um acrylic uh, glitter acrylic now Moving on to my ring finger, I am going to be using this Model 1's Soft Pink. I did have a hard time with it, but I try to work the best I can with these acrylics. Um, I really don't have a hard time with all of them. I think it's just a couple of them that I do. Um, I think even when I do get the right amount of monomer, I still have a hard time because I try to get them a little bit more wet sometimes but sometimes they work out and sometimes they just don't but right here I am doing it on my nail bed and I am doing a cutout so that is all I'm going to be doing to this now and then I'll be letting it dry up And moving on to my middle finger, this is just going to be a full covered pink nail. So that is all I am doing. I'm just trying to work with this acrylic as much as I can. 
I did grab a bigger bead this time to see the consistency, like how well it was. But it was just, it gave me such a hard time. So I just started dragging it. Um, at the end, it was kind of like, okay, well, it's not me because I know what I'm grabbing. I didn't have a hard time, not even with this glitter acrylic. So I just felt like it was this certain color that I was having a problem with. Um, like I said, I don't really have trouble with Model 1s. It just depends which color it is. But it's mostly this pink. Um, I don't think I had a problem with the purple one. I'm not too sure. I don't really remember what other color I had a problem with. But I do think it was just this pink and the other pink that I have. But the other one, I don't think I had a problem with it. Moving on to my pointer finger, I am doing um, the glitter acrylic here as well. But this one, I didn't really want to drag it all the way to the top like I did my pinky finger. So when I did go ahead and drag it, I kind of regretted it because I kind of wanted it to be kind of more clear on the top of the nail, the tip of the nail. So I went ahead and kind of started brushing it down to bring that glitter a little bit more to the bottom of the nail instead of it being all covered up in acrylic i mean in glitter so that is kind of what i'm doing right here coming up i am just going to be pushing that right here i'm going to be pushing that um glitter a little bit more down and then i am going in with a glitter acrylic and adding that to the tip of the nail around the cutout and i'm just trying to make sure i get that um all around the cutout um, on the sides and everything I try not to really go over it but then I didn't really care for it at the end because I did add some rhinestones but I did file my cutouts just to get that sharper look so I always go with my file after just so it can be more straighter more uh, nicer and everything um, and then I go ahead and add my glitter And then after adding this glitter acrylic, I am going in and encapsulating all of my nails, whether it's a solid color or not, um, especially those glitter acrylics. I do like to encapsulate them, of course, just so whenever it comes down to filing, nothing comes off. And so, yeah. And then after that, I will be filing, buffing, and everything. So right here, I have already filed and buffed. I don't really show that process. Many of y'all know that. Um, it's very rare that I do. But right here, I'm going in with this Not Polish Rhinestone Glue Gel. And I am adding this little bear that I got from my mystery pack um, from House of Supplies. It is so cute, guys. So cute. I got so many of these and they came in handy so well. Um, after that, I am going to be curing it. But I went ahead and started adding these rhinestones to that cutout now. Um, I'm just doing um, a dark pink and a light pink. So it's just going to be like a pattern. I should have cured that teddy bear though because then it started moving. But it was okay. You know, it didn't move too much out of place. It just kind of went more straighter than I had done it. But that is about it. I am just going to be adding these little rhinestones to this cutout now. And that is all for this now. Right here on my middle finger, I decided to go in with um, these little rhinestones and do little hearts with them. I was originally going to be writing something, but I did not like my handwriting. Um, I'm waiting on some new brushes just so I can get my writing on because I feel like this brush is too long. So that is why I ordered new brushes. But right here, I just decided to go in and do these little hearts with these rhinestones, which came out so cute. So I just, I did go in with my top coat and add my top coat um, just because I felt like with the gel, it was going to be so much of a problem just because it's very sticky. Um, not even that, like I can't make the heart shape. 
so I just decided to go in with my top coat and my stones usually do stick with my top coat so I had no problem with them sticking um, when after I cured them I did have my nails on for the whole night and the whole morning so I didn't have a problem with them at all um, falling off or anything so that is one suggestion I don't know um, I know Zule's has this gel um, it's kind of like a polish but it's supposedly it's pretty good and I do want to try that one out so right here I am done with my hearts and I'm just going ahead and applying my top coat and I am applying my top coat around my rhinestones of course you don't want to ever get it on top of it and that is about it guys that is all I did for this nail set and they came out so pretty I'm telling you those royalty nail supplies glitters are so pretty look how beautiful they are Leave me a comment down below what you think of this nail set. And guys, I do want to apologize for another video that I did. Um, I cannot see any of your comments. I know a lot of people commented on my daughter doing my nails, but I could not respond to any of you. And I don't know why I couldn't see the comments when I was actually checking them. So just a little disclaimer there. But I do want to say thank you for all the lovely comments. Okay guys, so after I'm done doing my nails, I don't want to take them off, but I have to. I go in with my cuticle oil and I just apply that, of course, to the cuticle. And I kind of do put a little bit more than what I should be. And then I just go ahead and start pressing them up well down sometimes they're really easy to come off and sometimes um, I do have to stay with them on a little bit longer but let me just show you what I kind of do if I do need them off like right then and there I go ahead with my cuticle pusher the other end though right not this so not this end of course but this one and I go ahead and kind of lift it up a little bit and then I start to just mess with it. And if you need to, don't push too hard on it. Like, don't pull it off. Just like that. I do go ahead. And I lift it up as much as I can. And I go ahead with my cuticle oil and start putting it under the nail. And then just kind of messing with it a little bit more. You see, this one was, this one's very hard to go. I swear, I feel like sometimes it's just, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's just way much harder, but I do mess with it a little bit, as much as I can, you know? There you go. So that is all I do, and then I go ahead and start putting that cuticle oil that was left over all over my nails. So I'll be doing this for all of the nails, because they're very hard to come off today. Of course, if they do start to hurt, guys, just try to go a little more slower. Um, be more gentle with your natural now. You know, you don't want to be um, too forceful and end up ripping a piece off of your nail or something like that. So you see me going very inside that nail. So that is it guys that is how I do that and here are my nails for my daughters to play with at the end of the day because that's what they like to do they like to grab them and just mess with them um, but thank you so much for watching guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this helped you out for anybody who is just like me and just wants to practice um, and doesn't have any real clients at the moment um, yeah and go ahead and check out royalty nail supplies their glitters are so pretty look at that such a pretty shine to them all right guys bye